Today I want us to talk about Floyd Chivambo. Uh, we'll talk about Floyd Chivambo as look at Floyd Chivambo. He's said to be a political guru. So we'll talk about that. Uh, look, there was an article released by U Christopher Buddha, multimedia intern journalist. Okay. And then we'll talk about U Floyd Chivambo, Gui Jacob Zuma case today. Definitely we'll talk about that. What happened today in the case of Jacob Zuma as well as Upili Downer? I'm here for that, don't worry. So, speaking about me being here for that, I think I need to give you a separate update about the case of Jacob Zuma. Are you interested? Definitely. Please do so. So, where would you like me to start? Uh... I saw an article from East Sunday World by Usande Lemota. On the 29th of August 2024, he says, When former President Jacob Zuma showed up for corruption trial at the Peter Marisberg High Court on Thursday morning today, it was quite a spectacle. Mkonde was his party uh, outrage flank the former uh, statement with a majority of the of them dressed in a party colored of green, black, and yellow. Uh, among the people that were there, obviously, it has been noted that there was Floyd Shivambu who attended that. It, it, it's so funny that anything and everything that Floyd Shivambu touches people notice it. Uh, he's been followed all over. One may ask, why is it important for us to follow Ufloi Chivambo wherever he goes? It means that people understand the credibility, the character, and the capacity of the man. Um, this other word, capabilities of the man. It means people recognize that he's not a guy that you want to underestimate. He's not a guy you can underestimate. Though others are trying to downplay that. On the other hand, moving out right along from the Sunday world, speaking about the article, it says Flo Shivambo is a notable figure in South African politics, known, known for his outspoken views and radical stance on economic transformation. With over a decade of experience in political arena, Shivambo has made headlines for his bold decision, including his recent departure from the Economic Freedom Fighter, where he served as a deputy president. Okay, I think we've got a date, me and you. We need to talk about Shivambo. Unpack Shivambo. Definitely sure you will be interested. But before we can do so successfully, please do this if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay let's continue i uh, just want us to go through this uh, story with he, he is a political guru he has now joined a newly formed uh, party led by former president jacob zuma umkonto Wesizo, where he holds a position of national organizer then there goes Early political beginnings. Where did Shivambo start his political career? You ask. Shivambo's political journey began during his time at the University of uh, Vatasrand uh, Vats in 2004, where he served as the 
president of the Student uh, Representation Council, CRC, um, this early leadership experience marked the, st marked the start of his rise in South African politics. His activism continued as he joined the South Africa, the African National Congress Youth League in the early 2000s, a uh, move that would shape much of his political ideology. Speaking about that, um, for me, I felt like Shivambo became Shiv the Shivambo when he got his place go EFF, and that's when we really saw Ushivambo. And that sometimes that's the the danger of that's the danger of being in big organizations because it takes time for you to shine and be seen. Unlike the decision that he took to be involved in EFF. And that's why we saw Shivambo and we started hearing that voice time and again. During his time in the uh, ANC Youth League, Shivambo formed a close alliance with Julius Malema, who became ANC president in 2008. Together, they advocated for radical economic policies such as the nationalization of mines, land, local retribution without compensation. Expansion from the ANC and founding the EFF. That's a very interesting one. But again, before we get into the mo we move into the most interesting one, is that the, 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 the transition where they move from where they are to the point where they form the MK part, like the, the EFF, uh, that thing what they used to believe in radical economic transformation the reason i want to mention that is because on the other hand you've got president jacob zuma who is a pro strong proponent for radical transform look radical economic transformation is it called ret force yeah they are called ret force so it shows that from a very long time or long period of time in terms of values, they have aligned with Jacob Zuma for a very long time, right, from a policy point of view. And that's what I wanted to highlight. But let's proceed, or as we proceed, Shivambo and Malema, now let's speak about the formation of, e e Loco, the formation of e EFF. Shivambo and Malema, radical positions, Loco, often clashed with the leadership of the ANC. They are vocal criticism and them both supports an opposition within the party. They are refusal to back down from the from this position let them uh, led to their expansion from the ANC in 2012 after a series of con controversies and defiance against the party's disciplinary process. Okay? Unwilling to compromise of their political beliefs, Shivambo and Malema co-founded Economic Freedom Fighter EFF in 2013. The EFF, uh, with, with its uh, bold red barret and fury uh, rhetoric, quickly became a prominent force in South African politics, where they focused on the same radical policies that Shivambo and Malema had had pushed for in the ANC, in particular nationalization on the land reform. Um, you will remember that most of the time you hear Abu and Balula bragging about how these people are coping them. You know, it's one thing to have a good idea, but it's one, it's another thing to implement a good idea. Okay, here's a, here's a perfect example. Speaking about people who are bragging about how these policies belong to them. Here's a perfect example. There are many people who have powerful dreams and wonderful dreams about, um, about life in general. <laughs> I want to own a car. I want to build my. I want to be the first South African to own to build his own car. Like I want to build my factory. I want to build this. But the bottom line is that it's always different. It's a different thing to. It's a different ball game altogether to. To 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 to, to dream, but it's a different ball game together again to execute. So INC can brag about how they have these policies and everything, but the bottom line is that it's a different thing to dream, but it's another thing to implement. So I like how the history here is captured. Impact 
on political uh, uh, impact on South African politics. Chivambo played a critical role in shaping the EFF's radical stance on economic justice and land reform. As co-founder, he was central in driving the party's key policies, particular nationalization, nationalization and land retribution. This rhetoric and leadership is a parliamentary debate for mainstream, uh, mainstream parties to confront the critical conversation. Hmm. Uh, Shivambo's ability to connect uh, with uh, dislute young voters helped expand the EFF space, making him a key figure in the party's rise. His influence ensured the EFF became a legitimate force in South African politics, driven by a clear focus on economic uh, justice. You know, I saved a screen screenshot here where P remember that I did a video and I said that there was um. There were, look, there was some insult between that. Look, there was some um, controversy between EFF and uh, MK Pat, and people says, "Where is that? Where is that?" Well, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm reminded because I'm reading about this. So just give me a moment. I'm gonna show you something. Uh, I saw the screenshot. Yes, uh, it was posted by Machela Koko where he says. The insult between at Umkonto Sizwe and EFF hurts me. Did you hear that? So when I told people that uh, EMK party has already given us um, has already given us an idea that there is something that is happening behind the scene. So I'm reminded when I as I read this and I come across this, it just kind of like Shivambo is the cause of you know what I'm saying. Now. Let's come back to this, the, the, the story or the scandals uh, Gashivambo. Controversial and scandals. However, Shivambo's political career has not been without its, controvers its controversies. He was implicated in VPS Mutual Bank scandal, where he was accused of benefiting from a large-scale looting scheme. Although he has denied direct in local involvement, the scandal tarnished his reputation and led to calls for accountability. Additionally, Shivambo has been involved in several uh, incidents of physical altercation, including an assault on, on a journalist. These actions have drawn widespread condemnation and have added to challenges he faces in maintaining positive public image. You know, uh, you know let's, let's, let, let me speak about this one. This one is a very... Funny thing, you know, when you, how can I, how best can I say this? Because I'm not even at the level of Aboshi Vambo and everything. I'm just a content creator who happens to now own two types of podcasts, big as they are. Uh, more, all of them are above 50K. Uh, SA Infotainment podcast, 53,000 something, 53,400 subscribers. Uh, unscripted debate, uh, 55,800 subscribers um you're talking of some of my videos that have i think he, i have a video above close to 100 close to half a million views in both of my channels uh i walk into certain spaces and people easily recognize my me and my work and say we know you have seen you right it, it's, it's, it's a, sometimes it's a nice thing you walk into spaces and people says okay it, it, it but it comes with its own um consequences there are consequences for that there are things that you cannot uh, there are things that you cannot avoid or people expect you to behave in a certain mind you i'm just a podcaster with a few channels right but already you feel the pressure right how much more if you are at the level of shivambo so sometimes what i've came to realize is the pressure can be too much and sometimes i even said that I wish somebody was there to teach me that, okay, the thing that you are getting yourself into, it has got a potential of doing this to you. You understand what I'm saying? I appreciate the responsibility that it look it, 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 it does, but you must remember that at some point, nobody trains you to be this person right? that they expect. Nobody trains you for that. 
So yeah, it's, it's, it's a funny thing about that, that's a funny thing about it. But you get departure from the EFF and new beginning. In 2024, after a year of internal disagreement with within the EFF, Shivambo made the surprising decision to leave the party. His departure marked the end of significant chapter in his political career. He joined the newly formed Umkonto Wesizo, where he has been uh, appointed as a national organizer. This move signals a shift in his political trajectory, uh, suggests Shiva that Shivambo may be seeking new avenues to continue his radical political agenda. Wow. I thought it was nice for me to share with you this because uh, it's something that we can really talk about it, but it does have some impact in terms of it does have some impact in terms of uh, how we see things here, right? There are things that I would say I would go as far as saying uh, if you are an aspiring uh, content creator, uh, no matter at what, at what level, but I feel like the quicker people understand uh, this, the, the the better that. Uh, things that I personally am learning from these people, you know, a p person of Shivambo's caliber losing temper, uh, fighting with journalists, it's because I, I guess sometimes there are things that are happening behind the scenes. Probably you've got family problems there and there, like everybody, uh, like any any other human being. You probably have, you probably are going through your own fair share of problems. Then ca there comes journalists who are pushing for what they want from you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how how do you maintain that uh, that composure? Uh, it's not an easy thing. We saw uh, President Ramaphosa a few 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 months into presidential city. Remember that he told the boss Hazen, shut up, Sten Hazen, because it's not easy. It's like I I I, I often I, I I usually say to me being. Uh, uh, on a spotlight, it's like uh, it's like the following. It's like um, the wind is blowing towards this direction, and you are opposed to the wind. You are blowing. You are, you are going to this direction because you are leading a lot of people, and everybody wants answers from you, and critics critics also want to critique you. So it's not a, it's not look, this thing is not an easy thing to do. Like I'm telling you, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, you you often I often say to myself. Whoa, you know you can you, you you know that thing you know when I joined this space, I I did not understand what it can do to me, both bad and good. Imagine you here is an example. Mind you, I'm just small. Imagine you walk into a mall and you disrespect somebody, or in a public space and you disrespect somebody, and somebody says, "I know this person, I know he's got a channel," and then they take that clip of you disrespecting people. Just like what happened to the TikToker uh, who was disrespecting somebody at pick and pay. Guess what happened to that person? They took that and they said, we know you, and they easily connect. Guess what? People unsubscribe. Do you understand that when you are in, a look, in the public eye, no matter how angry you are, no matter how frustrated you, you can be, one way or the other, it's going to have impact on the very same things that you are building, such as, you know, to me, the channel, to Shivambu, the, his political career, because it always stays, you know what I'm saying? But again, there are things that I think are worth noticing when it comes to Shivambu, and that is the fact that he's not, um, he's a risk taker. I think it's one characteristic that makes him uh, the best person. The fact that he was able to look or move from the look of, from the ANC, look, I, I don't think everybody wishes to leave the ANC, considering the fact that it's a, it's just an old house. You know what I'm saying? Old car. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you do well, the organization is big. It has got enough intelligence and it's got enough this and that. It can protect you. You know what I'm saying? It is all over the government space. So even if you are arrested. You can easily get away with a lot of things because they know police. You know, I'm, like imagine him breaking away from that. It talks of how it, it speaks of him being a risk taker. So there are a lot of things that one can learn from Ushivambo's attitude. Hence, he's called a political guru who changed South African politics um, as o Christopher Buddha, uh, multimedia intern journalist at IOL, will say. 
Right. Uh, I thought it was very interesting to capture the story saga of Floyd Chivambo now and be among the few that will capture that because we don't have the privilege of interviewing him. Uh, maybe one day I will have the privilege of bringing him into my podcast and sitting with him down and allow the man to speak. Other than that, for now, let's continue doing what we are doing.